Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a cycle plot. You may be used to creating charts like this where you have a column chart and we are separating, in this example we're separating quarters for the different years here, or we can change it around and have our years but we have it separated by quarters. And it kind of gives us a, a view of how things are doing uh, by quarters in a year, series of years, or in years by a series of quarters. To create this type of chart in a line chart, which is called a cycle plot, it's not as intuitive. The concept of the cycle chart is best explained by an article by Naomi Robinson. This is the article that I've seen on the web. Even though she is not the one who created it, she actually cites uh, Cleveland Dunn and uh, Turpening in a 1978 probably book of how to create uh, what a cycle plot is. She does give a good uh, review of what a cycle plot is and does. So let's see how we can create this in Excel. So we're back in Excel and I have my data here and it's from year 2000 to 2003. We have it for each of the quarters. The best way that I see to create this is to put it into a pivot chart, a pivot table first. And all I need to do is just select within my table, uh, arrange my data, go to insert and select pivot table. And I'm just going to bring this pivot table into the existing worksheet here. So I'll make it in uh, SL F1. Click OK. And the year I that goes first. And then the quarter I'm going to bring over here and the values I'm going to bring over here. Also like to have this in a different view. So go under design, under report layout, uh, tabular format. So it uh, has the view a little bit differently. Get rid of the totals here. I don't need that. Right click and deselect that. Also the grand total I don't need. Right click and remove grand total. And I have the beginnings of my chart. Oops, uh, I forgot. There's one thing that actually we need to do is to have it kind of like in a crosstab format. So I have my years here and then my quarters here. Let's get rid of this grand total. I don't need that. Right click, remove grand total. And with this, I can actually create my chart. Um, in this instance, let's say I wanted to create that sample chart, right? We have our cluster column chart. And this creates that if I want to do something like this. And if I wanted to change the data around, I wanted to have the quarter here and the year here. You can see it's changed it. It's pretty easy to do. But if I wanted to create a line chart, let me go to change chart type. And I wanted to have that line chart. You can see it's actually not that simple. It doesn't create that nice uh, separation, right? You have that, you have the series there. And even, even if I change this around, I put the year here in the axis and then quarter here in the legend here, it doesn't really do it nicely. Right. What we need to do is we probably need to take our data here and separate it. So this is how we're going to do it. Let's delete this chart. What I can do in this instance is I can use the pivot table to our advantage and just copy and paste it into a new range. So I'm going to bring the quarter back down here. And in order to have that separation, as you see here, we have that separation between the different portions or the different series of data, we need to have a pseudo separator in our pivot table. So we want to have a blank uh, row after each um, segment here of the two, of, of the year. So I can go under, let's see, I, I can go under the first one here and I'll insert a blank row. So under each item, so under each, each first category here or year, it's going to give me a blank row. Now I can just take this particular set of data Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. Now I can use, and then I'll just paste this as uh, values, so I don't get any of the formatting and potentially not copying another pivot table. What I want to do here, let me double click that to auto fit. What I want to do here is now create the line chart. So I go to insert, and I'm going to create the line chart, and we'll do this line chart. And now you see that it's done it for us. And the reason why we have these blanks here, these blanks between the series of data is because we have these blanks between the table. So we have uh, our year 2000 and we see our trend for each of the years, quarter and quarter two, etc. Now, if we wanted to try to change our data, we can actually go back into the pivot table and do that, right? So if we didn't, we didn't want it to have it 
by year, we want it to have by quarter, we'll just move quarter up first, right? And then it's going to show us that, and I can just remove that total and take this data now, control C to copy, and then put it over here. Uh, control, well, we can do just paste as values here. And now you can see that the data has changed a little bit. And now, of course, this portion of the access has been a little bit corrupted because it's too close together. What we can do is just make that particular access label instead of horizontal vertical. So I'll just select on the access label, right click, format access, and instead of having it uh, horizontal, we'll make it vertical. Right. And after that, let's close this. And now we have our cycle plot, which is bound by quarter. So now it's viewing the data as a quarter. Q1 for year 2000, 2003, Q2, 2002, 2003, etc., Q3 and Q4. So that's how we can create a cycle plot by getting some help from a pivot table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.